Hi everyone, Elite Assassin here, and in the background here you're going to be seeing some Halo 3 gameplay. This is from the first weekend Halo 3 was out. Just a quick background about why I chose this game. This team you see here was the first team we played back on Halo 3. Now my friends hadn't played in a long time, and our first match is against a team of 5 star generals. Of course, you can expect, you know, 3 friends and 2 randoms. We really don't haven't played much Halo 3 recently, going against a team of five five star generals. It was just bad. Really, really, really bad. <laughs> now, I mean the first match I don't even remember the score. Maybe it's because my brain just you know took it out of my head because it was so bad. But I know we played them again a second time on the same map, and we did better. I believe it was uh, fifty to somewhere in the thirties. So we improved again from Try and learn how they play. And this match you're seeing here in the background is actually our third encounter with this team. And I'm not going to say how it goes down, but I'm just going to say that it's very down to the wire at the end. And that's, you know, I think, what made it a good watch. Alright, now that that's out of the way, I kind of want to talk about my main topic, which I kind of hinted at at the end of my last video. You know, after watching a lot of videos on the new Killer Instinct coming out for Xbox One, which is a game that I'm very, very hyped for at the moment. As my uh, fiance jokingly told me last night, I was watching a video by a uh, channel of the Switcher who do the uh, two best friends play. And they had a get hyped video for Killer Instinct. My fiance is like, "You really want this game, don't you?" I'm like, "Yes, yes, yes, I do. Really bad." But anyway, getting off topic. Uh, this game is going to have a dojo mode. Now, this mode is. You know, on the surface looks like a glorified training mode, and it kind of is. But it takes your basic fighting game, you know, training mode, trial mode, from, you know, do this punch, do this kick, do this combo, do this special move, and it doesn't just teach you the basics, it takes you as far as you want to go. It even goes into the meta of the fighting game. It goes down and breaks down frames, saying, look for this. This is what a medium punch looks like from this character. This is what a heavy kick looks like from this character. Um, and it goes really, really deep from what people are saying. I think this is really, really cool. Because, you know, it makes it so that the player, you know, if they want to get really, really good at the fighting game, they have the tools in-game to do so, to understand so. They don't have to go to YouTube, you know, to look up a good fighting game YouTuber and have him explain the meta game of the fighting game. It's right there. The developers are explaining it for you. And this is, I thought was just a really, really cool, you know, great idea to help that game and that game's community thrive. If, you know, if you're a player in this game and you start out sucking and you want to try to learn how to get a little better, boom, there you go. If you can understand it, it's there for you. I think that's a great thing. Now, how does this relate to Halo, you might ask? Well, if you look at Halo, you know, in the picture of online first-person shooters, compare it to Call of Duty and Battlefield, Halo could be a little more daunting to get into. And it definitely could be a lot more frustrating for players. Go play Call of Duty and Battlefield, and, you know, they're meant to be a little bit more realistic shooters, military shooters, that, you know, people die quickly when they're shot. You know, a few bursts of a gun and you're dead your bullets, you're done. So most sniper rifles in some of those games, one shot, you know, in the upper chest, they're done. Now Halo, you have to, you know, you have to pop the shield first before you can kill someone. You have the power weapons on the map you have to contend with. Um, this is different from these games. So these games are widely popular now, whereas back when Halo 2 and Halo 3 were king, they were the big games. So a lot of the players going into them had played a uh, prior Halo, kind of know what they're getting into, and understand it. Whereas nowadays, people who might be try giving Halo a shot maybe come from a Call of Duty or a Battlefield background. And when they see this, taking a little bit longer to die, power guns on map, they might get disgruntled and frustrated easier. So, my thought, and again, this could be just a, a big dream and a hope for a future Halo game, but my thought is Halo having its own dojo mode, 
maybe you know since 343 is going for this whole infinity feel called boot camp boom there you go <laughs> i named the mode for you um but you know have a mode that is something that's very from the most basic of things in halo you know you're shooting your basic movement your grenades your melee to the metagame of halo have a feature there that allows the player to you know understand the game at a basic level but if they really want to if they really want to get better and understand halo and improve their game they have an in-game tool right there that can help them at least kind of understand the concepts they have to to improve and i think this would be a great thing you know, like i said have it start out basic and this is how it could be this is how it could function you know they click on the let's say lesson one basic moving watch a little video voice that's voiced over of a spartan you know moving shooting and then it goes into player controlled segment they have a little checklist of things they have to do and once they complete them congratulations level complete move on you'll have it uh follow this format and have it go from basic stuff like that you know to maybe a little more advanced things things that maybe more uh mid-level players take for granted like strafing for example i don't know how many times i play halo and people just run straight at me shooting i just go side to side and guess what i win pretty much every time unless it's maybe a close range ar but um you know strafing is something that maybe players don't really pick up on that fast and have it here have it explained to them have the video you know explain a basic strafe have them test it out and have it maybe you know go from basic strafe to more advanced strafe you know have them learn to vary your strafe maybe you throw in some crouching throw in a jump every now and then explain why this is good you know as long as next halo has a good movement speed hopefully strafing will be you know more effective and you know have after you do this video have it do like a mini like a not mini but kind of bot match you know here you are you're in this location there's a bot in front of you and it's going to shoot at you you know strafe while shooting and defeating this staying still target and it can even be, you know, these can be leveled by difficulty. You know, have it be, you know, in beginner difficulty, the bot doesn't move, it just shoots at you, move side to side, with a basic strafe, it won't hit you, kill it. Congratulations, you learned basic strafing. Have it go, uh, move upward. You know, you have to vary your strafe to dodge the bullets, and it might be strafing a little bit with you. All the way up to, you have to pull off, you know, crouching strafes, while throwing the occasional jump to dodge, X amount of bullets from the, you know, enemy while well, it's doing the same thing to you. And this could be just not good for beginners, not only good for beginners, but, you know, people can use it to warm up uh, before going online. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. You know, it can even go even more advanced than that. Have them, the players be able to learn about, you know, weapon timing. You know, as long as weapons are static in the next Halo, in the next few to come, they can learn that, oh, rockets will spawn at you know, X amount of seconds, and, you know, this might vary f from map to map, but you have Forge to go look at this, and you can see when they normally spawn, but, you know, understand that weapons aren't random, they spawn on a timer. So, once you pick them up, you know to come back, you know, three minutes from that time, you know, a minute and a half from that time, and you will get that weapon again. And you can have an advantage on your opponent because of this have them maybe even go more advanced into that and maybe they can learn about you know instant loading which is always a fun thing to do to somebody and can be very i don't know maybe not frustrating but can be you know just you get something to do and kind of sucks what's done to you but have people learn more about that you know maybe more advanced map movement i know if you go and watch professional players play they can you know move around the map in ways you wouldn't even think of you know, maybe have certain maps, you know, have them come in and show your roots. Maybe they can play the maps and they can learn after playing what are better routes. And, you know, have them highlighted, have players try to follow like a marker or a checkpoint system through this uh, route. Or you can even have tried outline ideas like map control. 
or at least try to explain it to people. Now, another thing I want to throw in about this mode, maybe have this be narrated by MLG players, or, or I guess ex-MLG players now, but you know, have pros come in and let them be the narrators. Let them be the people who capture the footage for these modes. And so they can better explain from person, like, like I said, Entis Blodes, get Walsh in there. Who knows better than him? And have him try to explain to, to players, you know, how this is done, why this could be effective, you know, when it's best used. And, you know, this w the way of doing this can accomplish a great many things. You know, new players can be saying, you know, let's say MLG Pro, you know, Walshy or whoever, you know, Ninja, Snipe Down. And, you know, then they go about and they talk about what they're going to talk about. This can show players that, you know, maybe these guys aren't so intimidating. I mean, they're intimidating, don't get me wrong. But maybe they're not, they don't have the image that they're given in the community. Because, let's face it, a lot of competitive players in a lot of, you know, comments and message boards don't have the best rep. But, you know, maybe we can show them as a little more, you know, approachable. It might give players who, you know, never really knew much about Halo, the competitive side, you know, why is this guy so, you know, famous in the community? What's he known for? Maybe it might give them a little more curiosity to go look up why these people are known. And, you know, have them watch older MLG footage, AGL footage, whatever, and they could see why these people were known and why they're so great. It might even get people, you know, more interested in the competitive community in general. If they, you know, look at the metagame of Halo and they like it, maybe it can help rejuvenate the competitive community. Maybe people will get more interested in it. And it'll be in-game. I mean, I don't, a mode like this, I don't see why it could be bad. It can improve interest in the competitive community. It can help people improve their game in general. And don't force it on them. Have it there. You know, maybe make it mes mes uh, mention of it. Blah, sorry. <laughs> getting tongue-tied because it's a little late here but you know have it mentioned when you pop on the menu like you know here's your campaign is here's your war games is and here's boot camp don't force it don't make it a requirement but if people it's there people can do it don't have uh, things locked you know the more advanced players can go in and do what they want to do on their advanced levels but the new player can start from st square one and work his way down like I just said before, I don't see how more like this would be bad. But, maybe it's a long shot. Maybe it's not something that 343 wants to do, or maybe is capable of doing. I don't know. But, you know, this has been my idea, and I think it'd be a great one for everybody. You know, let me know what you think. And, you know, if you think this is a great idea, feel free to share this. Because, you know, anything to better the community of Halo, I'm all for Halo is a multiplayer game that you know, has brought me together with a lot of my friends. It's something that we played for hours and hours and hours on end. It's something we really enjoyed. So, you know, anything that can move Halo in a positive direction is great by me. Alright, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, feel free to leave a like or something. <laughs> I hate to be a needy and, you know, ask stuff like that, but why not add it at the end? Alright, thanks for watching, and Hope you had a good day. Bye.